Glass once remarked about how his fears and insecurities would take him over, and that after stepping onto the spiritual path, he started to view them all as little schmooze that he'd invite over for tea. So I decided to make an appointment with what I consider to be the ultimate expression of darkness at Sydney's very own Jack Cafe. Today we're having coffee with dark beer. No date of birth, no time, no location, no problem. Today we're going to use our imaginations and paint a birth chart with some astrological know-how. I'll share with you my picture and you can share with me yours in the comments below. Tell me if you think he's actually a Virgo Ascendant or has a fancy yoga that I'm yet to learn about. I've given Darth a Ruchaka Yog, Mars in Kendra in Capricorn. His first house is jam-packed, including Rahu, depicting a physical body containing foreign elements, a technological mishmash of man and machine. Sun and moon flung further in the outer reaches of his chart are showing a potentially tough upbringing, especially that moon in the 12th. Here's a man who probably missed his mother's touch. And Rahu, situated at 10 degrees of Capricorn, is special indeed. In Abhijit Nakshatra of all places, the ancient lunar mansion that got sucked from the sky by Lord Krishna, as its tremendous power had great potential to be misused. But where, oh where, is Venus? At first I was going to debilitate Venus by putting it in the ninth house. After all, I never saw Darth with a girlfriend or similar. But then I remembered Ravana, who was a devotee of Shukra, another name for Venus. You see, Ravana was the guy who rose to the top of the dark side by getting into Shukra's good books. So I exalted Venus by placing it in the third house. After all, Darth Vader was materially extremely well off and seemed infinitely courageous as well. As with any chart, there's always so much more to say. But I want to share with you why Darth Vader became my favourite character in recent years. He was a warrior who didn't mock ancient ways. He knew how to bow at the feet of his master. And he was the kind of boss who wouldn't just bark orders from behind a desk. No, he'd roll up his sleeves and get involved. Darth Vader is a hero of scorpionic proportions in that no matter how late you leave it or how deep it runs, darkness can always be overcome and that the force of light has the power to awaken us all in a single breath.